I would like to demonstrate a few machining strategies in Symmetron version 9. The first procedure is a finish mill all spiral and it's using a touch point boundary. That means that the boundary that I select is the surface edge and it's doing a spiral collapse to the center. I have high speed machining enabled so I'm never getting any sharp corners which also means that I would have a little gap at the beginning because of the inability to make a sharp turn. The tricotal machining at the very end cleans up that little uh, leftover material in the center. Now if I position the tool along the outside edge you'll see that it's tangent to the boundary taking into account the geometry and the tool. And the same thing down here. The next procedure is a flow line procedure and it's running along the radius leaving a really good finish along the fillet. got several options for controlling the direction of cut. The next procedure is a local machining operation and the option morph between two curves is chosen. We have several different ways of defining the tool path. This particular one is morphing between this contour and the lower contour following the drive surfaces. And it's actually spiraling down. I only have one entrance and one exit. No connections between layers. I have another flow line that's actually machining the fillet at the bottom. And then a finish mill all parallel mixed cutting, which has a sharp edge defined along here. And touch point control boundaries on the outside and also on the inside. Uh, this is the same tool path except I'm using a quarter inch bowl instead of a quarter inch ball and I'm putting a arcing motion at the sharp edge so it arcs away and arcs on and also arcs away along here. Now of course I could have machined all of this with one strategy being surface milling by limit angle but I wanted to show the um, amount of control that we can put on it if we're really going for the best case scenario surface finish. Surface milling by limit angle is one of our most popular procedures in Symmetron and allow me to show you the difference between the verticals and horizontals. Right now I'm displaying just the horizontal motions and I'm using a spiral collapse maintaining the sharp edge and the cutter path runs around the outside working its way to the center and high speed machining is turned off right now which gives me the ability to have sharp collapses. Now if I toggle the other way, I'm looking at now just the horizontal motions.
and I have nice arcs on and off at every layer.